Hope everybody doing well. Now, of course, all y'all know, the street stuff, I already know about all that. You know, we could talk about that all day. But y'all also know if you read the book, um, Not a Dummy, got two degrees. And there are other conversations that we need to speak about or needs to be spoken about. It's so amazing how people just want to talk about that. I told my story and that's that. But like I said in my book, if you read, if you've read it, I talk about illiteracy. And the reason why I think a lot of dudes still hustle in the street is because they probably can't read or write. This is a conversation that needs to be talked about. Because my pet peeve, hey mommy, for... Why you don't want to eat the whole thing? I just got me a juicy burger from the beautiful Raquel. But what I was saying is that I have an issue with men and all women that have babies who cannot read or write. So I read it in, I wrote it in my book. And the thing is this, it, it may feel shameful, but what's more shameful is that you don't do anything about it and you don't seek out help. It's very important because I feel like if you have a baby, that baby's going to have homework. You can start teaching that baby how to read and write, pronounce letters, know what their vowels are, pronounce words. You cannot always leave that up to a mother because we all know the mother is always the one that's taking care of the kids. But if that mother's out working in your home, you can do your part, vice versa. There are illiteracy programs. Um, I'm on Instagram and my email is on my website. I can look for literacy programs for you guys. I'm not going to shout nobody's name out. But if you email me or DM me and say, you know what, Miss T, you are absolutely right. Find me some type of help in my town. I'll call people up myself, reach out to them, and then we could go from there. Because hustling, there's still a few people getting their money, but at the end of the day, how long is that going to last? Snitching is what it is. It's going to happen. So, now that you know how prevalent it is and that it's going on and that deals are just being made every day, it's on you if somebody tell on you. Vegan burger. Cookie. You can't have none. Mm -mm. But, um, I'm sorry. Like I said, there are programs I'm showing every town. The New York City Library gives out um, tests or study programs when it comes to GEDs and stuff like that. So everybody has Google on their phone. So you can actually Google these things yourself. But, you know, I see people post this stuff on my YouTube page and I'm looking like, you didn't spell that right. You talking like something that. The word is that. T-H-A-T. D-A-T is not a word. Like, we got to stop all that. Is that how you teach your kids how to read and write? No. It's very, very important that my black men and women start to educate themselves. Although I did what I did, my father was a very strict disciplinarian. He didn't play that shit. I ran amok. But... I never failed the class because I made sure, even if it was a C, I made sure I passed that goddamn class. Because I got a Jamaican ass with him. You know? Um, my father used to make me stand in front of him and say my one time tables to my 12 time tables. If I got to my six time tables and messed up, I had to start all over again. And he, he wasn't going to give me too many chances to be messing up. So. It's very important. Knowledge is power. And that's something my father always told his kids. Knowledge is power. My father left Jamaica. I don't know when. He didn't really get a good education. He taught himself Spanish, French. He would be sitting in a house watching Telemundo. I would be so embarrassed when I came home from school with my kids. They'd be like, y'all Spanish? I'd be like, yo, just walk to the back. He taught himself fucking Spanish, freaking Spanish from Telemundo. So, 
you can teach yourself if you're too nervous or go to a place where nobody you could if you live in brooklyn go to manhattan if you live in the bronx go to brooklyn like you could go to these libraries or these resource centers and get the help that you need when it comes to learning how to read and write and educate yourself you know everything is on google so that's very that's that's a that's something that's very important to me it is in my book and you know like that's more gangster like i said you know these dudes that y'all hustling trying to keep up some type of image for the streets or the streets don't love nobody the streets will kill you the streets will put you in jail the streets will snitch on you the streets don't love nobody if you don't learn nothing from miss t then hey that's on you the streets don't love nobody they will eat you up and spit you out trying to do it to me now but i'm not gonna let it because i'm smart you know what i'm saying like i can do whatever and i've taught my daughter that my daughter's her own boss like Teach that to your kids to be leaders. My father always taught his kids never be a follow-up. Lead. And he always, you know, he used to get mad sometimes. Me and my sister have our company in the house. When they leave, he'll pull us to the side and be like, yo, you see her? She talked too much. Don't talk too much. Listen. And my father always used to say that. Stop talking and listen. You know, that's another thing. You know, because you're all wrapped up in certain conversations, but you're not seeing... The people around you because he's always told or us watch the people around you he always said your friends will be your worst enemy and he got that just from sitting on the couch in the living room ear hustling <laughs> to see what's going on in the back room listen to our whole conversation and when they leave he like listen her him her no good he'll tell us straight up so Again, my website, www.mstbooks.net or www.harlemheron.com was the website. And I believe my email is there. I have people emailing me already. And that's what we need to do. Or y'all want to argue with me about the streets, but you ain't getting paid for that. You ain't getting no money for that. What are you getting out of What type of satisfaction? Coming at me, talking crazy? I'm still here doing what I'm doing. Let's talk about real stuff. Oh, I'm going to do another video about schools as far as our children, your children. Because y'all putting your kids in these charter schools, no good. So we'll talk about that in another video. This is about my adult men and women, illiteracy, learning. And even if you got your GED or high school diploma, holler at me. We could